All right there, it's me, Yorkie, and down here, the Chihuahua. I'm late. It's morning. I usually get to it uh, quicker than this. Got my coffee. Time for Tales Over Coffee. Now, seems to me over the last year, year and a half, some people have been losing their humanity, while others have been proving theirs in a sterling fashion. Even in Detroit, where it seems even androids can become human. Let's go. Well, come on, pick it up then. There we are. Now, I have played this before. Quite a long time ago now. We're going to have another run. Last time was an utter disaster. Let's see if we do it a little bit better this time. Apparently there's DBH2 going to come out sometime. I'm not sure what I think about that because this is one of them cases where it's a uh, makes sense as a wholly enclosed uh, storyline. We'll see how they do with it. Negotiator on site. Repeat. Negotiator on site. Now we are moving into October. We're not there yet. Dwarf Karami. We're not there yet. But October is Halloween month. Holy time for some, scary time for others, just another day for others. I'll probably play a few uh, horror based ones, including this, which, if you think about it, is really based in quite a horrific situation. Oh, please, please, you gotta save my little girl. Wait, you're sending an android? All right, ma'am, you, you need to go. You can't do that. <laughs> you, why aren't you sending a real person? Find Captain Allen. And he's down there. I don't give a shit. My men are ready to step in. Just give the order. Captain Allen, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. It's firing at everything that moves. It already shot down two of my men. We could easily get it, but they're on the edge of the balcony. And if it falls, she falls. Do you know its name? name? Something we can negotiate with? Does it matter? I need information to determine the best approach. Uh, deactivation code. Have you tried its deactivation code? It's the first thing we tried. Listen, saving that kid is all that matters. So either you deal with this fucking android now, or I'll take care of it. 48% chance of probability. Understand what happened. All right. And that is 355 ammunition. There. Capacity 17 rounds. <laughs> Decent capacity there. And here we can construct. Deviant took the father's gun. No shit, Sherlock. So we know he's armed, which we already know. And the dad's gone. What else do we have? Can we find anything on uh, the kid? The daughter. That bastard's gonna jump. Fuck, man. I got the same model at home. Alright, we got the name. 
Apparently, it's always ma it always makes more thing personal, more able to relate if you're using names. So, I mean, that's what I've heard anyway. I've obviously not been a police negotiator. Child did not hear gunshots. Listening to some rock music, well, some pop music. Nothing else in there. So we're out here now. do we have? We got the victim here. Shot cop. It's not good. EPD officer was first respondent. Uh, so we've got an identity. P.O. Deckert. Anthony Deckert. We have a uh, 355 bullet wound, right heart ventricle. And we have ah. Come on. Gunshot residue, lead stephanate. Uh antimony sulfide, only one shot, so he shot the uh the android and the android shot back. Oh the other way around. Either way the android came off worse. Hostage witness the shooting. That's not good. That's going to be some trauma therapy for them. Cop shot the deviant. And the gun's under the table. Alright. Helicopter's going to spook him. There should be some way. Man down. I repeat, man down, requesting immediate evac. Oh, another dead body. Okay. There we are. Yeah. Identify. That'll be the dad, won't it? John Phillips. Yep, that's the dad. Uh, up along Thor Numbathorex. All lung hemorrhage, internal bleeding. Nothing there. Where's number four? Is that it? Uh, left kidney per perforated fatal abdominal trauma. Alright. So, let's reconstruct. Well, it was holding something. It's like a tablet. And there's the tablet. One percent. Go get that. Deviant was going to be replaced now. Given that they're seen as machines and not people, what do we do with machines that we replace? We usually throw them in the tr in the trash, don't we? Which I would say would be death for an android. So when it says replaced, it's kind of a nice way of saying killed. 
Oh. We can turn that off. Family is about to have dinner. That's not all that useful to me. Right on the edge, she's struggling. Alright, so basically, uh, the cop's right if uh, the SWAT officer's right. If he goes down, it all goes south. Jail shoe size. Hostage could be wounded. Okay. Certain will be if they fall to a death, won't they? And this is. Uh, oh, did that wrong. Fresh blue blood model PL six hundred. Android is injured. Alright, I guess we're going out then. And we're injured. Stay back! Don't come any closer or I'll jump! No, no, please, I'm begging you! Yeah, only half the feet on. That's not good. Hi, Daniel! Now, my name is Connor. How do you know my name? I know a lot of things about you. I've come to get you out of this. Oh god. Yeah, that's just gonna spook him. The hell are you playing at? I know you're angry, Daniel. But you need to trust me. First aid. And let me help you. I don't want your help. Please. Nobody can help me. Please help me. All I want is for all this to Stop! I just want all this to stop! They were going to replace you, and you became upset. That's what happened, right? I thought I was part of the family. I thought I mattered. But I was just their toy. Something gets not the away kids' fault, Daniel. Losing blood. If we don't get him to a hospital, he's going to die. All humans die eventually. What does it matter if this one dies now? I'm going to apply a tourniquet. Don't touch him. Touch him and I kill you. No. You can't kill me. I'm not alive. Now destabilized him a bit, but I'm not giving up on the cop. Close. You think she betrayed you, but she's done nothing wrong. She lied to me. I thought she loved me, but I was wrong. She's just like all the other humans. Daniel, no. Looks like I can't do anything about them. Listen, I know it's not your fault. These emotions you're feeling are just errors in your software. No, it's not my fault. Can't I never that. wanted this. I love them, you know? But I was nothing to them. <laughs> just a slave to be ordered around. Get that chopper out of there. I can't stand that noise anymore. Tell that helicopter to get out of here. Yeah. The situation is under control. Well, it's less under con less out of control yeah. with you gone. What you, wanted. what you wind's gonna blow him over, make him unsta unsteady. You're scaring him, makes him less stable. I'm your last chance, Daniel. If you let it slip, they'll kill you. Let the hostage oh. go. You have no other choice. That didn't work well. I want everyone to leave! That's not going to happen, Daniel. And I want a car. 
Run that's not gonna the city, happen, Daniel. Go. That's impossible, Daniel. Let the girl go, and I promise you won't be hurt. Hmm. I don't want to die. We're not going to die. We're just going to talk. Hundred percent. To you, you have my word. Okay. Yeah, that chopper was just making him you. physically and emotionally less stable, putting the girl at even more risk. Goodbye, Daniel. Predictable. They're not going to let you go after you've done that, are they? You lied to me, Connor. Yep. Pretty you much. Lied. I don't blame you for what you did in a sense, Daniel, because they were essentially going to kill you. But on the other hand, you, are, you actually have killed people and put others at risk. Now, if you'd run, try to find a way to survive, okay. When you go around killing people, no. Go on then, Chihuahua. Let's not try and get all wrapped up in the wires, shall we? Continue! Cyberlife! The Android Company! This is the top of the range household assistant. Cooks 10,000 different dishes. Come on, Zoe, let's go. 200 languages and dialects. And handles the kids' home care. Elementary school up to university. Wow. Honey, it looks amazing. This is mm -hmm. exactly what we need. Very basic model. Pre owned PL600. $1,700 by the look of it. Sale model ZT200 pre owned. It does absolutely all the work around the house. Painting, plumbing, gardening, repairs. At we'll night, <laughs> an excellent choice. <laughs> if you'll just follow me, we'll process the order. Sale, super sale. Lots of pre-owned ones. So people do sell their androids. There it is. It's a bit difficult getting it back in working order. It was really messed up. What'd you say happened to it again? <clears throat> the car hit it. Uh, Stupid accident. Hello, Mr. Carr. See. Anyway, it's as good as new now, except that we had to reset it, meaning we had to wipe its memory. I hope you don't mind. That'll be fine. Okay. Did you give it a name? My daughter did. AX400, register your name. Kara. My name is Kara. Hmm, so it is. Sony Interactive Entertainment, Quantic Dream. I'm trying to remember, is it Sony who bought up uh, Ninja for uh, Hellblade 2? Or am I all kinds of confused with that? I'm looking forward to that one. I don't think I'll read on Hellblade 1. I've run it three times now, I think, and it's purely sequential. It's one of my, one of my favourite personal games, but... Uh, I don't want to run it again, because, as I say, it's purely sequential. You're not going to make different decisions like this one, you will. Apparently, there's no way to get past this bit. 
Ah, you join the city as they do their little uh, credits. Also, my job because of androids help me. Cheap labour. Beat my ethnic and racial minorities. Right, in this case, androids. So let's face it. They're being used to make it easier for us white folks to deal with con these concepts. Um, cheap labour is always getting the blame for jobs lost. And jobs might go to them, but... All right, shouldn't you hold the businessmen responsible? Who put profits above everything else? It's men and women. Or perhaps the customers who go for the cheapest product. Would you like to go home now? Yes, Rose. Yes, I think that's enough. Here. L let me help you. Oh. oh, thank you, dear. Am I going the wrong way? No, I'm going the right way. I just got nudged by that guy. Nudge this. Hey, water. You have run 12 miles and are five miles away from your goal. Charming. Oh, joy. Man seeks to imitate God by creating life. But what kind of life is this? A life of plastic and metal? A life with no soul? A pale copy of our creator. The machines are observing us. They're waiting in the darkness for the right moment to take our place. For it is written, let us lie in wait for blood. Let us ambush the innocent without cause. God will not let this happen. No, he will not allow mm. his creation to be led astray by these, these artificial demons. Bellini paints. Identification verified. Here is your order number 847. That will be 6399. Please confirm payment. Payment confirmed. Wi Fi connection or the transaction complete. Something similar. Take the bus home.
This whole scene is beautiful world building. Well, what a horrific world. One dollar to hear music with soul. What's that music? Human music. So androids are even producing music at this point, and why not? We already have basic ideas of computers producing music. What do we want? Mm. When do we want it? What do we want? Uh oh. Where the fuck you going, Tin Can? Hmm? No kidding. Hey guys, check it out. We got one of those tin cans here. This little motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Steal our jobs, but you can't even stand up. Ow. You go anywhere. We're gonna fuck your bitch ass up. Yeah, waste it. Do it. Alright. That's enough. Leave it alone. Let us teach this bastard a lesson. You damage it, I'm gonna have to find you. You gonna take your job next? You see how you like it. Okay. Let's go. Run along. A little LED in its forehead there. You can see it as representative of uh, emotional psychological states or programming states if you like um, the blue which it will normally be like there is just normal calm functioning the orange uh, the yellow is uh, hang on the yellow is uh, processing essentially busy and the uh, red shows a glitch in the system somewhere And here we see something that absolutely is from uh, human history. Uh, I know it happened in the US, I'm sure it's happened in other countries too. Minorities being forced to ride in a specific part of the of the bus. Androids being minority in this situation. And here we are with Kara once more. And Mr. Carr, who hit her. At least that's what I'm saying. Let's face it. Ran into a door, hit by a car. These excuses we've heard from abusers all over, haven't we? Fell down the stairs, yeah, with assistance. Feel my fists itching about him. You coming? Yeah, I'm right here, fool. You've been gone for two weeks, so the place is a mess. You do the housework, the washing, you cook the meals, and you take care of 
God damn it, where the fuck's the brat gone now? Oh, that's nice. Alice! Alice! Oh, there you are. That's Alice. You look after her. Homework, bath, all that crap. Got it? Yes, Todd. Get started down here, then you do upstairs. All right. Let's learn how to use the keys. Or at least use the uh... TV on. Use the different controls. Yeah. Maybe. More Maybe cleaning. Yeah, yeah. I can get that. Yeah. Clean coffee table. Yeah, same place. You need, you need. Making some kind of deal on the phone, I wonder what. Take out the trash. In. Fuck, man. Smoking up. Oh, there's uh, dishes over there. Okay. Dishwasher broken. Missing component. Not sure he wants me to order a new one. He seems to want me to do the cleaning. Oh well. Well, me, Kara. That plate was ready for rinsing off, actually, but okay. Hey, Alice. Kara. Yes, Todd. Bring me a cold beer. Right away. Could an android achieve achieve sentience? Essentially, could a computer achieve sentience? Well, you have to de define your terms, don't you? Or could a machine do achieve sentience? You have to define your terms. We've achieved sentience and sapiens. Uh, sentience is ability to sense, really. Sapience is uh, understanding. I need a good start down here. I'll head upstairs. Do what you have to do, but stop bothering. That's why we're Homo sapiens. Sapiens, not Homo sentience. Sentience. Uh. All right. Now, 
we're not the same as the machines, are we? Are we? It's an interesting question, actually. Uh, credit's all kind of screwed up, rejected, rejected, overdrafts and everything, overdrawn. Oh, clean upstairs. Yeah, I'm trying to do that. Let me go up there, will you? There we are. Um... Yeah, are we different from machines? We're not made of metal and plastic. We made we our bodies are essentially biological machines. That just leaves our brains, because um, biological machines that can, in many cases, in many ways, be replaced by actual machines, pacemakers, artificial limbs. Uh, so, you can't use our bodies to rule as, di as different, so then our minds. Well, that again gets back to sapience. And what is that exactly? Is it just a product of processing? There's, that's one way of looking at it. But our sapience is just a product of essentially kind of and power of our brain as a computer if that's the case a sufficiently powerful and well developed computer could theoretically achieve sapience oh, dropped a magazine what's that uh, looks like a child YK500 Child androids. That doesn't surprise me. And now to sports. First up, Android players. Basketball. As the Gears prepare for their critical match with Denver tonight at the CyberLife Arena in Detroit, league negotiations are still ongoing over the possibility of allowing one Android player per squad. Debate rages as to whether the change would lead to more exciting matches or be the first step in making human players obsolete. CyberLife has announced its willingness to participate in the experiment by providing one specialized model to every team. Now, androids are already used to train players and provide tactical advice for coaches since 2013. Another 225,000 jobs were unemployment the whole time, eh? in October, according to the Department of Labor, bringing the unemployment figure up to 37.3. President Warren spoke to new cyber life plant. of a new cyber life plant near Mill. Now. As I was saying, that only leaves, really, the soul. There's a couple of problems with that, though. Firstly, you haven't defined your terms. What is a soul? What gives rise to it? Why do we have one and an android couldn't? Seems an obvious question, but explain it. Tell me what it, what it is and what it's made of and what gives rise to it. But more obvious question... And by the way, uh, I have a certain form of spirituality. Um, I'm not going to go into it. I believe, personally, in being more than just the body. But, I also accept I can't prove it. I can't prove there's more to us than just the body. I can't prove there's such a thing as a soul or an essence or anything like that. I believe in it. That's fine, that's up to me. But I can't prove it, and therefore I can't deny something else. It's humanity, or sapiens, or whatever you want to call it, based on something I can't prove. Drugs. What have you got? Antidepressants. Oh, and a gun. And um, we saw him doing... We saw him doing other drugs too. 
Wow, this is getting me into real uh, stuff. I'm aware of stuff I know for my own uh, history, my own um, training, my own professional life, my own personal life. People with mental illness are not more violent than others. In fact, we're about three to four times as likely to suffer violence as other people, on average. But someone who's not properly medicated is mixing uh, uh, proper medication with drugs, uh, has a bad history, a bad social network, and so forth, and uh, is under strain and has a gun, all of that together, that is bloody dangerous. So, yeah, that gun is not good. Android quarterback, Cyberlife unveils Android quarterback, slam dunk basketball, okay. The price of life. How driverless vehicles make life and death decisions. This is actually something real now. Space tourism is major. I mean, we don't have driverless vehicles on the road yet, but we've developed them and they have to be able to make decisions when there is no obvious win. Space tourism is Mars your next holiday destination. When a driverless vehicle foresees an accident, the driver's computer makes life and death decisions. For example, deciding which of two pedestrians are hit. But the exact process by which cars make these decisions is not very well understood. Martin Furlong of Crown Cars tries to clarify in these situations the car's Im imaging system gathers data to determine the pedestrian's age, gender, life expectancy, etc. in the blink of an eye. Which, obviously, a powerful computer can do quicker than we can. If if you've got good image processing uh, and understanding of that, etc. Which I'm assuming in 2038, when this is set, they do. This data is passed through the public record to determine the marital status, employment record, life expectancy, and whether they have children. The car then assigns a value to each possible victim based on criteria like their contribution to society. We put a premium on lives that will save other lives, like doctors and nurses. All this may sound very reasonable, but Felix Gamble, head of Anti-Automation League, says the system has no right to make such judgments. Somebody with a criminal record is not necessarily less valuable to society than a doctor. That kind of information is irrelevant to the sanctity of human life. But for long dismisses such claims, we want our cars to make the best possible choices. And that means acting on the basis of all the information they can gather, the more the merrier. And that's the thing, isn't it? You're driving along. You can't stop in time. You can swerve, or you can go forward and you'll hit someone either way. Who do you hit? Two children? Two old people? You're in that situation. You're going to hit someone. Don't say you can't. Don't say there's an option. Sometimes there isn't. Cars making the same choice as you are. Will it make them better? I don't know. But what makes you have the right to choose? An interesting one. American football has largely resisted the spread of Android players, with top tier games still an exclusive human affair. But that may be about to change following CyberLive's recent unveiling of technical demo QB1000, an Android quarterback capable of throwing from end zone to end zone and hitting a target about 6 inches wide. The model is also programmed with over, over 1500 plays, from classics such as bootlegs and handoffs, to more specialised manoeuvres, all of which can be adapted in real time. QB1000 was revealed at CyberLive Exhibition. Hmm. So, does sport become... And this is essentially the same thing with steroids and other things. Do we want the best sportsman, even when that's an android, or that's someone hopped up on drugs? Or, do we want the best natural sportsman? It's an interesting one. Watch it. Oh, nice. Two upstairs bathrooms, that's odd. 
I've seen two bathrooms uh, on a, sta a house with stairs, but not generally on the same floor. Nope, there's Alice. I just want to tidy up your room a little. All right, let's do this. I only need two minutes. Is that okay, Alice? Made bed. And what's the book she's got? Alice in Wonderland. No Alice wonder. In Wonderland. Of course. What about over here? Alice likes drawing on walls. Seems you like reading. That's a good thing. Treasures. Let's put that back, shall we? Nope, put it back, Kara. Let's have a chat with Alice. Friendly. I'm sure we used to be friends before I was reset. Maybe we can be friends again. And you name me. Your father said you chose my name. Kara, it's nice. How did you choose it? Yeah, that girl's stressed. You're very quiet. I hope I don't scare you. Mm, not going to talk about mother. You we don't know what's happening. yourself. What you like to do, where you like to go, your favorite foods. That would really help me. She's so scared. Mm, got a key. And we can now unlock that. Clover, a look. This looks like mom and dad and happier times. And this looks like Alice injured, which is not good. Unless, yeah, that's Alice, not mum. Mum doesn't have light hair. No, I don't know. Alice doesn't have light hair either. Oh, does have light hair, have Oh, and that's an android suit. Android broken. Like I said, hit by a car is not is something new. Well, that kind of statement. Abusers are fond of using shit like that. Leave her alone, Todd. I know what you're thinking. You think your dad's a low life? Huh? Fucking loser? Can't get a job, take care of his family? Don't you think I tried to make things work? But whatever I do, when someone comes along, they just fuck it all up! Todd, you're scaring the girl. Shut up and sit down. You hate me, don't no, you? she doesn't. Say it! 
You hate me! God. What am I doing? I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know I love you, don't you? You know I love you. I didn't clean toilet, never mind. See now, I'm conflicted and I'm totally not on Todd. You probably don't want me moralising like this, but hey, it brings up stuff. I'm going to think it through. I'm well, not necessarily moralising, but philosophising. See, on the one hand, from things I've studied, from knowledge I've gained, I can understand him being like that. He's been he's in a shitty situation. He's been through uh, shitty situations, some of which, many of which he's caused himself. I'm not saying he hasn't. He's uh, suffering depression, which, if it's kind of uh, correctly diagnosed, is a serious mental disorder which will cause him to process things much harder than most people. Um. He's over, he's self-medicated on drugs to, and it looked like booze to try and deal with it. He's under continual stress. All of this can bring out the bad in a person. But before you think I'm saying, so it's okay, no, it's not. Because in the end, when you're affecting other people and you don't reach out for the help you need... Now, some societies don't let you have any help that you need. But when you don't reach out for the help you need... to not be a danger to those people. And you don't find a way of removing yourself from the situation, perhaps put Alice up for, uh, Alice up for adoption. And I do know things down the road, I'm just talking about this particular situation. Um, that's on you. Ultimately, you have the responsibility to those around you. You have the right to live your life. You have the right to understanding. <coughs> which most people can't actually provide, which is fine. We, do, we all have different backgrounds. But you have the responsibility to be safe to those around you. Or to get away from them. Todd hasn't done that. Todd made himself a danger to Alice. And if we accept Kara becoming human, that androids can be human, or that human as a definition needs to be expanded to uh, sapient human, for, uh, human form beings, then to Kara as well, and probably to his wife, who's no longer in the picture. So I'm conflicted because I understand how a person can end up like that, but I'm not conflicted because you're still responsible. All right, all right, all right. We'll move on for one more. Deposit package. There it is, Bellini paints. There I am. Or Max at least. Oh we got birds in a cage. No. We got android birds in a cage. Nicely made.
And we got some haunting picture of a face. Uh, what's th what's through here? Oh, that's the kitchen. That's the living room. By the look of it. There's a staircase going nowhere over there. Artists. Let's go upstairs then. Okay. Some beautiful artwork around. Hmm. Looks like that's an opening through there, so let's go that way. Nope, I'm wrong. Told you it's been a, uh, quite a while since I've played. This is where I should have gone to begin with. Uh. Good morning, Carl. Good morning. It's 10 a.m. The weather is partly cloudy, 54 degrees, 80% humidity with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. <laughs> I did go to pick up the paint that you ordered. Oh, yes, I've forgotten. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? You never forget anything. <laughs> Show me your arm, please, Carl. No. <laughs> Carl. Thank you. Hmm. I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. Humans are such a fragile machine. They break down so quickly. All this effort to keep them going. Hey, what happened to your clothes? Oh, it's nothing. Just some demonstrators in the street, Carl. What a bunch of idiots. They think they can stop progress by roughing up a few androids? I hope they didn't harm you. Oh, no, no. They just pushed me around, Carl. I'm fine. Okay. Interestingly, he's not wearing an android uniform. Okay, the I didn't know he's that before. I really am fascinated by Carl. Anything special on the agenda today? Yes, there's the opening of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. Mm. The gallery director left four messages asking to confirm your attendance. Hmm. I haven't decided yet. We'll see about that later. <laughs> okay. What else? Just your usual fan mail. I've already answered. Hmm. Any news from Leo? No, Carl. I can call him if you like. No. No, I don't bother. Your breakfast is ready. Bacon and eggs, just the way you like them. Thank you, Marcus. You're welcome.
Okay. Thank you, Marcus. Television. Why don't you find something to do while I finish my breakfast? Mm, sure. Mm. Okay, Carl. Play chess or play music, I guess. Let's go for a game of chess. How about a nice game of chess? Name the movie. Fancy game of chess? Sure, yeah. Speed chess. Speed chess it is. <laughs> I didn't select in time. That's what I call a thorough beating. It's not easy <laughs> for an old man to compete with a machine. Well, I know you don't like losing, and you don't like when I let you win, so I felt I didn't have many choices. True. Mm -hmm. We humans are complicated. Yep. One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. You'll yeah, have to protect it. yourself and make your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Let's go to the studio. And see, that's what fascinates me about him. <clears throat> Marcus is not wearing regular android clothes, wearing human clothes. And the way Cal talked to him just there, wh where am I going? Makes it seem that he sees him as a person, shall we say. You, uh, when Cal's gone, he'll have to look after himself. But why can't he look after himself now? That seems to imply that because he needs him in that role, Cal is keeping him... And this is an assumption, because we don't know this for sure. But because he needs him in that role, Cal is keeping him as... Uh, as an android. And if you see someone as human, and you're keeping in a, them in a role of subservience, regardless of their will, which is how we Let's treat see androids, where left off. Remove the sheet. then essentially you're keeping a human in a position of servitude, you're, you're a slaver. But he treats him really nice. It's interesting. I don't know. I don't know what to make of Carl. On the one hand, if you're a slaver, it doesn't matter how you treat. Well, it does matter how you treat them, but you're still a slaver. There's nothing good about it. On the other hand, if you treat Marcus like a son, I don't know. I don't know. There's just too many questions there for my liking. Maybe he's saying he won't be there to look after him because he's not making Marcus stay there. Marcus is choosing to stay there, in which case that's completely different than I'm saying. They're just they're just unanswered questions.
anything else? Nope. Just over here. Well, that's a mess. So, what's your verdict, Marcus? I'm not a very good judge. I, I don't think it's your best work. The truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. He doesn't disagree, see? Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Hmm. Carl. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. This again comes. Try. Try confirms he sees him as a human. Paint? But would I. Paint Not just a what? machine. Anything you want. Give it a try. A human machine, if you like. <sighs> a person, shall we say. Just do the statue. This is where I tend to slip up, uh, as you're saying, I'm rather slow on the QTEs. So when you have things that are relying on QTE events, they screw me over a little bit. I don't have the reactions good for it. That is a perfect copy of reality. The painting is not about replicating the world it's Some is. interpreting improving on it showing something you see carl i don't think i can do that it's not in my program i go on go try it grab that canvas mm -hmm. do something for me close your eyes Close your eyes. Trust me. Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel and let your hand drift across the canvas. Okay. Android humanity identity. He certainly hasn't seen, with the exception of Cal, maybe, any humanity and show of uh, show of empathy from people. Hey, Dad. Leo. Yeah, he's stoned. Or he's uh, uh, coming off. I didn't hear you come in. No, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. It's been a while, right? Mm -hmm. You all right? You don't look so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, I need some cash, Dad. Yeah. Again? What happened to the money I just gave you? Uh, well... It just goes, you know. <laughs> yeah. It's going straight in your lungs, in your stomach, or yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No. In your veins, isn't no, it? No, no, I swear it's not that. No, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash. That's all. I'm sorry. The answer is no. What? Why? You know why. Yeah, yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd rather, you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Tell me, Dad, what's what's he got that I don't? Smarter, more obedient, not like me, right? But you know what? This thing is not your son. No. It's a fucking machine! Leo, that's enough! 
His son's a druggie. Enough. I was out of control. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. He does love you, Leo. That's the you problem. never loved me. Sorry, Cal. Hmm. All right. Well, that's where we're going to leave it for today. Uh, meanwhile, there's links to other things on channel you might enjoy for you. Look around the screen, there's a like and a sub. If you want to help us grow, that'd be magic. And also, if you uh, hit up the comment section, then I'll respond. Are they human? Or becoming human? I'll see you next time for some more Detroit Become Human. <laughs>